Many people refer to muscle cars as art, but Dave Snyder takes muscle cars and art to an entirely different level. Uh, Dave, I've been a giant fan of your work for a long, long time. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, this is just amazing, amazing stuff, especially to see you here doing it live. Um, th th first of all, this show is just the greatest show of the year. Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, I just love, love, love this show. Fits right in with my demographic, uh, the, the work that I do, and um, love to sit and paint while uh, people watch, and that way they learn how the work is done. Well, and they learn what goes in it, and I think the appreciation level goes up even higher once we see you actually doing it. It does. It's a, it surprises someone when I tell them there's 400 hours in each of the paintings, about 400 hours. <laughs> but they can tell by by me working on it, they can see how the work is done yes. and the effort that goes into any of these paintings. The other thing that I noticed right away is in today's digital world where people can you know, crank basic images out with uh, a paint program, the opposite is you where every gradient and every change in hue is another layer and another stroke and that's where all the time comes in. There is um, probably two weeks of just drawing, getting the perspective right, getting the size of the cars right, uh, getting the details, and then even after the pencil drawing is done and transferred onto the board, then so much more detail is added with the paintbrush mm -hmm. as I work. Now, he was showing me earlier uh, a folder of, of clip art, little snapshots of different things that you then put together in your mind to make the scene that we see. So these are not a painted copy of a photograph. Reference comes from all over. Um, thank God for for um, for eBay and thank God for uh, Google search, because uh, you know, for example, in a, in a piece I'm working on now, I needed some reference on what the typical Burger Chef restaurant looked like of the day, and there's very very few. But I was able to glean details on the lighting, on the architecture. It's important to me to get that absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. Well. The thing that, that really blew my mind, and the reason why I asked that question, is your perspective, your shadows, uh, the proportions of the cars are all photo correct, but you constructed that. I constructed that. I, I hand drew it. it. There's there's no scanning. There's no programs. There's nothing. It's just hands-on drawing. And then when you get to the painting, then I guess, like I said, you start adding in more detail. The service bay, the, the details in the service bay. When you get into the cars, then I have the manufacturer's paint chip books mm, so the colors are with me so that the colors are accurate. Believe me, I get letters if they're not. I mean, Hugger Orange has to look like Hugger Orange. Um, 67 uh, Cranberry Red has to look like Cranberry Red. Rally Green has to look like Rally Green. And, and that is, so, so that is very, very important, the details and the color. Unbelievable. And the other thing that I notice is the color and the style of your artwork is all very vivid color. That's part of the goal, yes. Yeah, well, yeah. it works. Now, here at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, you've got your display where people can purchase, uh, I guess, screen prints. And are you selling originals as well, or do you the not sell originals? The originals are for sale. Uh, this, the, the, the Yenko piece I have here is one of the only originals I already uh, I have. Um, the, the painting that you saw me working on earlier, um, that painting is already sold. In fact, the next three paintings are already sold. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Um, but I also saw a Gibson guitar that's painted up. Tell me what's going on there. Uh, well, last year at the uh, Meekum Spring Classic in Indianapolis, I approached Gibson to give me a guitar because my prints do quite well at the charity auction. Mm -hmm. And the charity that, that Dana Meekum and I have chosen is uh, Curing Kids Cancer. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've donated a couple of prints to Curing Kids Cancer. They did quite well. Um, I was introduced to Gibson Guitars. I said, give me a Les Paul. I'll raise $25,000 for you for Curing Kids Cancer. And they said, sure, here's the guitar. I did the, did the painting on the guitar and it brought $105,000 for curing <laughs> kids' cancer. That is fantastic. Total deduction, I mean, it was just stunned everybody that, that this guitar went for, for over $100,000. Fantastic. Well, that's great. It, it is so good to see, you know, a true enthusiast who's, who's you know, doing your passion and, and giving back in the same fashion. And you being, have to uh, give back. You have to, you know, yeah. I've had a little success myself, and, and I give back 
in return. Oh, it's fantastic. And you're, you're adding another dimension to the show. People can come here and see you work. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So uh, it's just one more thing that makes this show, like you said, what I think is the best in the world. Dave, thanks for your time. We really appreciate Kevin, it. thank you. You got it. VATV's coverage of the 2014 Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals is brought to you in part by Reliable Carriers, taking vehicles seriously for over 50 years. Learn more at ReliableCarriers.com.